Tonight, a middle school janitor is being accused of sexually assaulting two students in Chester County. And tonight, investigators fear there may be more victims. It's Tuesday evening. Shari's off. Sarah Bloomquist is joining us on the big story on Action News is the alarming arrest of that middle school janitor. Police recovered hundreds of sexual and inappropriate text messages and photos. Action News reporter Jacqueline Lee is live at the Tredyffrin Township Police Department with the story. Jacqueline. That's right, Sarah and Rick. The DA says the number of incidents like these are skyrocketing here in Chester County. She says it's so important for adults to pay attention if they may see some sort of abuse or something just a little bit suspicious. And as you guys said, she does believe there may be more victims. So parents, if your child was a victim, they want to hear from you. 23-year-old Rashawn Drayton of Paoli is behind bars tonight. The former custodian at Valley Forge Middle School is accused of sexually abusing two students ages 14 and 15. Unfortunately, it sounds like they use their position to uh, prey on a kid, and it's just a shame, and it's very scary. Drayton is facing a list of almost 40 charges, including institutional sexual assault and indecent assault of a person under 16. According to the criminal complaint, the mother of a 14-year-old student in eighth grader at Valley Forge Middle School discovered inappropriate text messages between her daughter and Drayton. The daughter told police that Drayton would hand out candy several times a week, and when he asked for her phone number, they started texting and FaceTiming. On April 14th, police learned of a second victim, a 15-year-old. An officer is alleged she received gifts, sexually explicit texts, pictures, and videos from Drayton. So the reason this case broke was because we had a really diligent, caring mother who, who must have identified something was wrong with her daughter had the forethought to go through her phone and was able to uncover this entire criminal behavior. The school district says Drayton worked as a custodian since 2017 and have removed him from his employment while charges are pending. In a statement, the superintendent says, like all district employees and contracted staff, Mr. Drayton underwent the mandatory background checks prior to his employment and received required child abuse prevention training. Not every adult can be watched all the time. Uh, not every student can be accounted for all the time and uh, some nefarious things can happen. The school district said they did not want to do an interview because this is an open and active police investigation. Drayton will have his preliminary hearing next Friday and he posted his $50,000 cash bond. We're live in Berwyn, Jacqueline Lee, Channel 6 Action News.